Distributors are the backbone of the U.S. healthcare ecosystem, serving as the vital link connecting 1,500 pharmaceutical manufacturers to more than 180,000 pharmacies, hospitals, and providers. Nowhere has this been more evident than in the nation's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. For the past several years, the Healthcare Distribution Alliance has led efforts to implement the 2013 Drug Supply Chain Security Act, also known as the DSCSA. This landmark legislation replaced a 50-state patchwork of laws with one universal solution that regulates the movement of prescription medication data through the pharmaceutical supply chain. To date, the implementation process has been one of the most collaborative efforts undertaken by pharmaceutical supply chain stakeholders. HDA has played a critical role, leveraging the industry's expertise, forming productive partnerships with industry groups, and serving as a forum for its members and supply chain partners to address critical technology and compliance questions. While there has been great progress, some of the biggest challenges are still ahead. The final implementation deadline is now around the corner, November 27, 2023. The enhanced security requirements effective then are extremely complex. They require for the first time that the healthcare supply chain provide transaction data that matches with each individual product identifier sold to a downstream customer. This is no small task. The distribution industry delivers more than 10 million products daily. Compliance hinges on all manufacturers, distributors, and prescription dispensers updating business processes and IT systems to support sharing data in a secure, electronic, and interoperable manner. In most instances, particularly for manufacturers and distributors, the data sharing will be performed through electronic product code information services, known as EPCIS standards, a new methodology for the pharmaceutical industry. As highlighted in a recent HDA Research Foundation survey, supply chain members are experiencing challenges sharing the DSCSA required transaction data due to the volume of products and trading partners, the complexity of the 2023 requirement, and EPCIS implementation. Amid these challenges, the FDA presented an additional obstacle, draft guidance that does not reflect the realities of how distributors operate and runs counter to the DSCSA. It risks derailing the industry from its efforts to comply with the DSCSA and, if implemented, could create an environment with different interpretations and compliance methods with no stated benefit. This means we could wind up back where we started with a complex patchwork of expectations and enforcement standards. HDA is urging the FDA to withdraw its guidance so that industry can continue its important focus on the 2023 deadline. Once implemented, the DSCSA will enhance the security of the supply chain. This means safer products and safer transactions for the end users, patients. For more information about DSCSA and HDA's concerns with the FDA's draft guidance, visit hda.org slash DSCSA.